Hello and welcome back to another Future Doc House production. Let's continue our journey on this coronavirus pandemic that we're stuck in. All right. Um, questions. Why add azithromycin to hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine? Why add an antibiotic to an anti-malarial slash anti-parasitic slash anti-viral agent, which is hydroxychloroquine? Why not? Here's the problem. So let's talk about azithromycin. Well, long story short, prophylaxis. Uh, long story long, what is azithromycin? Azithromycin is a macrolide antibiotic. It treats bacteria infections, middle ear infections, strep throat, pneumonia, traveler's diarrhea, chlamydia, and gonorrhea in red, sexually transmitted diseases. All right, here's the kicker, strep throat and pneumonia. Hmm, what else can cause symptoms similar to strep throat and pneumonia? Oh wait, pneumonia caused by a virus. Hydroxychloroquine can treat that virus, but can it treat a bacteria infection afterwards? Okay, and so that's why this azithromycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic that treats not only these uh, diseases, but also strep throat and pneumonia. The side effects, you know, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or you could be allergic to it. All right, the mechanism of action. How does this antibiotic work? It binds to the 50S subunit of the ribosome. Okay, what does that mean? It means that the ribosome of a bacteria is made up of two subunits, right? You have a 30S subunit and a 50S subunit. And these two subunits create mRNA, okay? So if you have a bacteria that uh, this, uh, the ribosome is inhibited by this medicine, azithromycin, okay, and it inhibits this mechanism by binding to the 50S subunit. So it binds to this, let's get a pen here. And if it binds to this, this is azithromycin, binds to this, it prevents this from working. If it prevents this from working, it prevents this from being created. So that's how the uh, antibiotic azithromycin works. Now, if it cannot create mRNA. The bacteria cannot replicate and the infection stops. So that's how this antibiotic works. Prophylaxis, here's what happens. The coronavirus is quite strong, quite deadly. And so it leaves your lungs trashed, okay? Uh, in order to say treat the coronavirus, your body has an immune system. And in fighting this virus, it does one of two things, or both. One, it releases inflammatory agents called cytokines to stimulate the immune system to fight this virus. The other thing it does is it tries to create antigens, okay, sorry, antibodies against the antigen of the virus to help fight the virus. Now, if your immune system is not strong, all you have is the inflammatory response, the cytokines, which sometimes can do more harm than good. Leaving your lungs very, very inflamed and trashed and uh, more susceptible to a bacteria infection. So when they add azithromycin to hydroxychloroquine, they're basically saying, look, uh, you're, you're, you have this virus, and now you need a little bit, an extra agent, just in case you get a bacterial infection that can cause you strep throat or pneumonia. That can also, say if you are in a sensitive population like the geriatric community, the elderly, uh, that also can kill you, not just the coronavirus, but other bacteria infections, influenza can even can kill you as a, an elderly population group. Hope that explains this. If you like this video and you want more of these videos, please click subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day. She is a good student, but instead of just reading textbooks late into the night, Jennifer uses technology to help her study. She also watches lectures on YouTube and practices her knowledge with QP, a medical quiz app and online platform. Jennifer likes QP because it has 10,000 practice questions covering her entire medical course.
This means she can practice her medical knowledge from anywhere and in a way that actually prepares her for the exams. Begin your 7-day free trial with QP today.